a natural compound that repels insects better than this stuff? DEET? Really, it's true. A published paper. Find out what it is, how it can help you, your dogs, your cats, in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. Summer's almost over. That being said, summer not only brings sun, it also brought many a biting critter. You get a ton of mosquitoes this year. Fleas? I suspect there may have been a few fleas in our house. Ticks? Found a few ticks. That being said, there are just lots of critters that I would prefer to repel naturally. I have to confess, yes at times we pull out this guy, it contains DEET. It's considered sort of like the gold standard to repel stuff. And like this is the one even for kids, right? Like really? I mean, regardless, so much better if you could use a holistic option for after the kitchen. I want you guys to stick through, watch the whole video because we're not only not only going to show you what it is, I'm actually going to be making a little spray. We're going to test it out on the Tulemeister over here. So this repellent compound is going to keep critters away from little Tula, potentially your dogs, your cats. It, in my house, it comes in a glass jar. I use it for cooking. I use it on my skin. The coconut oil. So in this paper, they actually looked at the repellent compounds found in coconut oil, comparing it to DEET, and they found it for a few of the different insects, it was actually more effective than DEET. For the bed bugs, for the biting flies, for the ticks, it was shown to be slightly more effective than DEET. Holy cow. So how can you make your more effective mouth so much safer than DEET insect repellent for you, your dogs, your cats? Well, <laughs> Step one, we've got to take this coconut oil, aka this thick white stuff, we've got to turn it into a liquid. Have our just boiled hot water full of hot water and in comes our coconut oil. Ta-da! My strategy is to melt this in hot water. I just want it warm enough that it's gonna be in a liquid state, not so hot that it's not safe to spray on myself and my dog or my cat. Okay, I want you guys to see this. It's only been, what, barely a minute and already, look how much of my coconut is already liquid. Perfect that coconut oil. Now I've got a handy dandy little spray bottle I picked up from my co-op. Let this get this guy filled with liquid coconut oil. All those good triglycerides ready to repel insects. We have our coconut oil spray bottle. Now it's still in a liquid. Let's do a little test and see first will it spray. Maybe I should just spray my hand. Oh, it smells very coconutty. I like to smell coconuts. Makes me think I'm think I've gone somewhere tropical, even though I haven't. Kind of looking forward to this pandemic thing ending, just for my own selfish reasons. To actually get on a plane again and see more of the world. Okay. Okay. Regardless, I digress. We have our coconut oil spray bottle. It appears to be spraying this coconut stuff really well. Look at that fine little mist. That is so good to be spraying. It feels great on your skin. Oh, so much softer. Okay, let's test this out on the poodle. I don't have any bugs to test it out with, but at the very least, the guys, the smart science guys say oh, it's gonna work. It should work for your dogs, work for your cats, work for you. These will make their skin a lot softer, make them smell good, maybe even keep away bugs. Okay, let's test it out, Poodle. So, imagine I want to repel things such as 
ticks on the Poodle Meister. I would be spraying her, lightly misting her with this coconut once a day. Just using my hand to kind of work it into her curls, all of her fur. So you're just gonna lightly mist your dog. Use your hand to spread it throughout them. Safely do that once a day. Now, you know, I've got this really fine mister. It works so well. Like, check that out. And if Tula licks it, it's totally safe. Oh, don't pluck up. I've never been doing so well. Spray it. There it is. Just give it a bit of a shake. What I do suspect is, is if it plugs up on you, you're just gonna have to immerse it again in some warm water. Mmm. Oh. Feels good, Tula. Check that out. It's coconut spray. Wow. I encourage you guys to give this a try. I know it's safe, potentially really effective. Get yourself some coconut oil, warm it up, turn it into a liquid, pour it into a little spray bottle like these guys. Spray yourself, your dogs, your cats. Do it daily. I think you're gonna need to be doing it daily to be effective. Do it for a couple weeks and see if it is working or not. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications. And then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.